Welcome to this demonstration of Microsoft Dynamics GP 2010. In this demonstration, we'll take a look at an important advantage of the Microsoft ERP platform, the ability to easily extend solutions to meet specific business needs. In this demonstration, we'll see how Microsoft Dynamics GP 2010 can be extended using Windows SharePoint services and InfoPath to automate a requisition process that previously required a cumbersome paper trail. This example shows how easy it is to design a lightweight requisition process involving a requester, purchaser, and approver. First, let's look at this simple requisition process in action. Afterward, we'll explore how the process was created. We'll start in the Finance Center, where we've added a simple customization. We've added a link for requisitions. To create a new requisition, we simply click New. This opens a form in InfoPath. We designed this form to contain fields required to support a lightweight requisition process. Now, let's complete the fields that define our process. First, we select the vendor for the computer, which is linked to the Dynamics GP database. Next, we select the item which is also tied to Dynamics GP. Here we specify the item Notebook from Dynamics GP. Next, we specify Quantity. We input the cost, which is $2,500. This will automatically route the request to Charlie Keene, the purchaser for items greater than $2,000, based on a workflow rule. Next, we add an additional classification for the item, which specifies that it's being ordered for IT purposes. These supplemental classifications can be used for reporting purposes or to kick off supplemental workflows, such as asset tagging. Lastly, for tracking purposes, we input the name of the requester. Another common need is the ability to include document attachments with a requisition, such as a pricing quote. Using InfoPath to extend Dynamics ERP, we can allow for these attachments and store them with the form in the library. Let's take a look at the item we attach to our requisition. Here is the paper form for the new computer. Now complete, we submit the request. Now let's go back to the Finance Department page. Here we can see all of the finance tasks, including the one we just created. Our submission created a task for Charlie regarding the new notebook. Now that we've seen this lightweight requisition process in action, Let's take a look at SharePoint Designer and see how easy it is to create the workflow. Here is the SharePoint Designer rule that determines the routing. This is easily adjustable based on rules and does not require complex code. For example, if an item is IT ordered and the price is less than $2,000, it will go to Tim. If this item is a capital asset and the price is less than $2,000, then it goes to Ken. If the price is greater than $2,000, it goes to Charlie. Depending on the routing, the correct person is automatically assigned a task and sent an email. Now, let's switch to the perspective of Charlie Keene. Here we see an email that tells Charlie that he has an item to approve. A task is also included to help Charlie ensure that the request does not fall through the cracks. The task indicates that Charlie has been assigned to approve the new notebook. Let's open the InfoPath form for Charlie to approve the notebook. By rule, the approval box is only enabled for Charlie, Ken, and Tim. Once this is approved, the next step in the workflow is to enter a PO into Dynamics GP. When the approval is saved, the next steps are initiated create a PO in Dynamics GP, and add a link to the InfoPath form.
When we submit this form, it triggers a change event in SharePoint Designer to create the PO in Dynamics GP. Now we close the form. Let's view the new PO we just created. We have given all POs that come from our lightweight requisition process an IPPR naming convention, which is short for InfoPath Purchase Requisition. And here's our PO. We used Extender to add a new window and maintain the link back to the requisition form. Let's take a look. Here's the link to the requisition, so the customer can easily go back and view the source and update the process as needed. During discovery, it's common to find areas you identify as unique needs for customers evaluating Dynamics GP, and some of these needs will require simple customization. Using the power of SharePoint and its integration with Dynamics GP will help you solve specific customer needs and highlight the value of Microsoft ERP. For more information, please contact your Microsoft representative.